After watching the uh, flight test video of the F-22, I decided to uh, print out the plans and uh, build one myself. Uh, laid the plans against uh, that blue core foam that you get at uh, home improvement centers. The one I have has uh, plastic on one side, which I removed because I'm going to be painting it, so I wanted to have the same texture on both sides. Um, I decided to uh, use the uh, KF airfoil, the KF M2, on the top of the wing, as you can see right here. There's a section right there, and it's all rounded off to get a nice flight characteristic. The bottom's rounded off, and then the top is rounded also. I decided to uh, uh, do this, and the distance is I approximate it as half the distance of the wing cord. I also decided not to use any carbon fiber in the design, um, so I went with uh, 3 16th inch square basswood, which is very strong and pretty inexpensive. So that was my main wing support piece that runs down right here. Cut it in half for this small piece that's up front by the balance point. And something I did which is different than what most people are doing is I put 16th inch balsa wood on the end of the blue core foam all the way around. Um, glued it on with uh, foam safe instant glue. And uh, that gives it a really nice hard edge texture for dents and dings and so forth. It added a lot of rigidity to the structure also. I even have it on the inside part here where the propeller goes. It's on the rudders. Um, it's on all the back portions too. And it really doesn't add a lot of weight but it adds a lot of strength. Um, this front nose section is three pieces of the blue core foam with uh, center section of that 3 16th inch square basswood. And the whole thing is held with uh, foam safe instant glue. I didn't want to use uh, hot glue. It's about three tenths of an ounce per stick. And I just didn't want to go that route. Um, another interesting thing that uh, people may or may not know is to make hinges pretty inexpensively and very, very strong, you can go to the post office and they have these uh, mailing envelopes. And all you do is cut a half inch strip and uh, glue it on with the instant glue after you've of course made the 45 degree miter. In this case I've got balsa wood on the, the foam as I said. So the whole structure is very light, about four ounces without any gear in there and uh, very rigid. I'm going to paint the top and bottom a little differently um, and then put a, a uh, water-based um, gloss coat on the whole thing to protect it a little bit. Um, so the next step, I'm going to install the electronics on it. On a lot of the foam, and especially on the, uh, the joints, I wanted to fill those for strength. So after I glued them, I put a little pocket of uh, the instant glue on there. And then I uh, added lightweight uh, spackle to it. And then I smoothed it out with water. And then I also made an interesting discovery that then using a, uh, a brush going over the spackle and it makes it really smooth. Once that dries, I put a thin coat of instant glue on there and then it adds a lot of rigidity to the structure without adding virtually any weight. So wherever you've got uh, anything to fill imperfections, you can put that on there and lightly sand it before you actually uh, paint it. So here's the uh, completed airplane. You're going to see a short uh, uh, video, the first flight. I, it was extremely nose heavy and just kind of didn't fly right. Uh, the balance point, after doing some searches online, is 16 inches from the nose back or one and a quarter inches from the slot for the propeller, so one and a quarter inches this way. 
that's actually the balance point. Um, and even with that balance point, you still have a little bit of uh, positive deflection of the elevator, about 10 degrees. 10 degrees is about right. And it flies really good at that 10 degrees. Um, I try to have everything inside the body so the battery is inside to minimize the, the front drag. Uh, I painted the underside yellow here so you can see which side's up, right side up. Um, my servos were mounted in mid position to give me a little bit more tail heaviness so that I can put my battery where it was because I'm using a uh, 800 milliamp 3C battery. I've got the receiver tucked in here also. You can see it's an Airtronic set. 4 gigahertz receiver. Um, the propeller I'm using right now is, is a 6.4 and I wanted to talk about uh, what you see here. Um, these are to direct the air into the propeller a little bit, they raise the efficiency and um, the KF airfoil actually is starts at this point and I noticed that when I had the KF airfoil here, I was losing some efficiency. So what I did is I tapered this down. So this is just a standard, like an aero taper. So there's no abrupt change right here with the KF. So the KF starts at this divider point. This divider piece of balsa wood lines up with that end on the plans. And another thing I uh, found out is that this connection right here was breaking. So I extended the bottom piece, the balsa wood, to include this front section of the wing. And that really increased the, uh, the stiffness of the whole design by doing that. Plus it looks kind of neat, looks like a little missile or something. The motor that I actually am using is uh, Exceed RC Rocket Series. It's a 86MA01. It's 1400 kV. And I'm pulling about uh, 90 watts out of it, so it's not overpowered, and I'm getting about uh, eight minute flights at full power. Um, another thing I modified, because I'm using a smaller diameter prop, I added about a three quarter inch little step right here, um, and I also added little quarter inch steps in the back. And by doing that, the thing can sit on the ground and the propeller could uh, run without hitting the ground because I was uh, breaking some of my props. So by doing that little offset right there, um, it actually allowed this thing to run on the ground without hitting the prop. So that'll save you some aggravation, some money. Very simple to do. Turns out that's actually the best point to put it, which is just about a little bit ahead of the uh, leading edge of the wing and then on the extreme end of this support piece right here. So it flies great. I'm going to show you some footage of it flying.